Good afternoon everyone, it's Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer. We're looking at the sun today, 4-14-2014. Today is the day of Mars' closest approach to Earth, as well as a complete lunar eclipse that can be viewed from our location here uh, on Earth in Houston, Texas. going to move over to the east side of the landscape because that's pretty much where all the activity is going to be occurring and I'm going to um, passage my way through some time right now it's um, 103.56 and we're going to move ahead in time um, Bob and myself and Debbie plan on going out and broadcasting the complete full lunar eclipse, take a shot at Mars, um, if the weather permits. Right now it's kind of stormy, windy, rainy out, but there's a good chance that the front will pass later in the evening and we'll be able to get the equipment out and view these items. Uh, seeing won't be the best, but the clouds should be gone. 804.36 you see the moon you see Mars Vesta is also in the screen but uh, we won't show it it's designation coming up what should we do there's Vesta there's Saturn 11 Actually, 10.05, 11.05, the moon's going to be right near Spica. Okay, and there it goes. So, or did it? No, there it is. It's still there. Well, by uh, 1.05 a.m. on 4.15, we will be able to be watching the moon go into its lunar uh, eclipse. We will probably have already imaged Mars. We might be able to take a shot at Saturn. Maybe even go see Vesta. And there's Ceres. We have a lot of activity going on in this area. And so that's what we're going to be doing. Cosmic Obsession will be having a broadcast tonight starting probably about 9 or 10 p.m. tonight. Um, looking for these uh, objects because this is what's on the mind for everyone. We have uh, a great opportunity to see a full lunar eclipse. We have a great opportunity to see Mars because it's um, at its closest approach to Earth right now. And uh, it makes it for a great opportunity to view all in this one single area. We have Saturn, we have Vesta, we have Ceres, we have the Moon, we have Mars. And hopefully, if the weather holds up, we'll be able to get out there and broadcast. Remember, the broadcast is broadcast is broadcasted on the nightskiesnetwork.com. I'll repeat that, nightskiesnetwork.com. You can go sign up for free. That will let you into the um, guest area, I guess you can call it, and the guest area or the uh, broadcast area it shows you links. Um, to all the amateur observatories that are broadcasting on Night Skies Network. Um, the red links are live links, the white links are uh, not viewing at the time. I should be heading over to the observatory about 7 or 8 p.m. We hope that everybody gets a chance to come and see us. It's been a long time since we did a live broadcast. It'd be great to uh, hear and talk to everyone. I should have well, you'll be able to chat through Night Skies Network, 
I'll probably have my Skype open so you can contact me through Skype and we can talk directly. Um, a very good evening for observing uh, some important uh, events and as far as Mars goes, uh, observe Mars at its closest approach to Earth. So uh, this is a short update. It's uh, five minutes long. It is um, April 14th. 108 p.m. in Cypress, Texas. I hope to see you joining us on the Night Skies Network at about 10 or 11 p.m. as we broadcast the lunar eclipse. Look at Mars, look at Saturn, maybe try to find uh, Ceres and Vesta. Come and join us. Come say hello. It's been a long time. I hope you all are doing well. This is Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer, and I'm out of here.